tell y'all, hey, your girl, safe face. So listen, this is a question I get asked all the time on my discovery calls, okay? Will I be alone forever? No, you will not be alone forever. If it's in God's will for you to have a spouse, for you to be married, for him to give, to part you, to get you together with one of his sons, it will be done. You may be, you may delay your destiny a little bit because of your ignorance, a lack of knowledge of the spirit realm, and you don't know how to identify these counterfeit people, but you cannot delay what God has for you. It may be delayed a little bit, but it's still going to happen because God's word will not return to him void. And what he spoke to you and through you when you were in your mother's room, where he already knew you, he already knew what was going to go wrong. He already knew that you were going to go, you were going to go through all these countless relationships, but what did it do y'all? It taught us. It taught us, it taught, it changed our vision. It changed the way we view things. Now we know to guard our heart. Now we know to test the spirits by the spirit. So you will not be alone if it's in the will of God for you to be in a marriage. If you desire to be married, God will give you desires of your heart if it's in his will. So you don't have to pray. You don't have to worry. One thing the enemy does, he wants you to worry. He wants you to think all hope is lost. He wants you to think that you're damaged goods because you may have children. You may not have children. He wants you to focus on your flaws. He wants to lower your self-esteem. He wants to make you think that you're not redeemable, that you're not restorable, that God cannot renew you and, you know, make it to where as if it never happened. But I'm here to tell you the devil is a liar. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a liar. And you will be with who God has for you. Point blank, period. Don't let the devil be out here making y'all think because of heartbreak and betrayal that God won't renew you, restore you, redeem you, and send you back double for your trouble, right? That he won't restore the years that the locusts and the canker worms stole from you. Yeah, that's the God that I serve, that we serve. So even though I'm going through this and I went through a counterfeit marriage and I'm healing, right? Guess what? Guess what else? God will lift another. Okay, he will lift another. So count it all joy. But first he got to heal you, right? He got to heal you from that rejection, that abandonment. He got to heal you from the things that even attracted the counterfeit. Like he has to heal you from that because if you don't heal from it, you're going to attract the same thing again, go through the same cycles. You're not going to be able to identify who is who because you're going to be so caught up in your open wounds in your heart that needs to be healed by only God. And the only way that you can get to your purpose, the only way that you can get to the spouse that he has for you is through obedience. If you work on your purpose and you work on the things of God and do what you need to do, God going to take care of you. Okay. I have two books. Okay. This is the one I need you to go get. I need you to go get healing from heartbreak and betrayal. That's what um, I, I focus on the rejection, the abandonment, the things that got you to where you are now. And if you are past that part, and you need to know how to identify counterfeits. I want you to read my story of how God freed me from a two-year counterfeit marriage that I fought with tooth and nail to stay in. I know, crazy work, right? It's wild. But that's okay. Go grab the book. It has helped many and plenty of women be able to identify counterfeits, be able to break generational curses, know what to go after, know what to look for, and come into the knowledge of the spirit realm. So I will see you guys in the next video after you go grab that book.